Welcome to the grand finale of season seven of Industry Leaders. You'll meet Ira Smith, a woman with real passion, who through dedication and hard work became one of our industry leaders. She'll share her inspirational story of resilience as she advances her chosen industry. On this episode of the Quick Flick Exclusive Edition, we'll meet industry leader and the company's founder and CEO, Ira Smith, who wowed Shark Tank judges with a genius beauty product. The Quick Flick success story began when Iris was just 16. Industry Leaders, brought to you by Annex Media. My name's Iris, I'm the founder of The Quick Flick and The Quick Flick sort of originated from this problem that I'd had for years and years. I had worn winged eyeliner since I was like 16, 17. is essentially a winged eyeliner stamp and the quick flick sort of originated from this problem that I'd had for years and years. I had worn winged eyeliner since I was like 16, 17 and a lot of women know it's probably not the easiest makeup look to achieve. Super difficult, like you have to be highly skilled and most of the time it just ends in like a complete meltdown. A <laughs> big disaster. Yeah, so I was studying interior architecture at the time, so loved design, loved creating things, working on little projects. I was in my final year mm -hmm. and was constantly late for like uni and work because of my winged eyeliner, which just sounds ridiculous, <laughs> first world problems. Priorities, of course. Yeah, <laughs> and sort of thought, well, how about I come up with like a little bit of a design solution for this problem that I had. And it wasn't really like meant to be a business or like a product I was thinking of selling, but it became really clear to me when I sort of started speaking to people that winged eyeliner was a common problem. Even with like professional makeup artists, it's really difficult, um, especially because there's so many different eye shapes and sometimes people have hooded eyes and it's just so complicated for something that's supposed to be such a simple makeup look. And are there different types of shapes and sizes within the, the range at the yeah, moment? Yeah, there is. So I think something that was really important to me and something that I noticed growing up and you know buying makeup I find that a lot of cosmetic brands sell us this one mold or stereotype that we sort of have to fit into yeah and if you don't fit into this sort of mold it's kind of like well too bad like so sad for you sure so what I kind of wanted to do with the quick flick was make sure that we catered for a whole range of people and not just women men as well because you know there's so many men these days who also love makeup and you know want to get their hands dirty and try products yeah so, yeah, it was all about making sure we catered to everyone and also all ages. So winged eyeliner is also really difficult for older people because your eye starts changing, you get wrinkles, yep. you know, it starts drooping, <laughs> the benefits of aging. So the product kind of allows anyone to achieve that perfect winged eyeliner look. We have three different sizes, so it kind of caters for any occasion, your preference, what eye size you have. Mm -hmm. Anyone is the quick flick. Like a lot of people ask me, who is the quick flick? Like if it was a person, who yeah. would it be? And I'm kind of like, well, it's nobody, it's everyone. You know, everyone is our brand. You know, all of our customers are our brand. Like we did a photo shoot the other day and we didn't go out and look for models. We mm -hmm. used real people, we used customers, we used influencers and bloggers. And it was all about being really inclusive and saying anyone can use the Quick Flick and anyone is a Quick Flick customer. Um, and I think that kind of puts us aside from other brands that are currently on the market. Jason, thank you so much for joining me. Can you tell me a little bit about um, how you fit in um, within the Quick Flick? Totally. Well, my role is the PR marketing and communications manager for the Quick Flick. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it is such a whirlwind. So day to day, I talk to influencers, uh, media companies, working with our own PR agency as well, just to, you know, really develop the brand and to take over the world. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like such a great fun job. Oh my gosh. Like, could you call this work? <laughs> 
It's amazing, I love it so much. Every day I literally run into the office like, I'm ready, I'm here. A male in the beauty industry, do you think that's been a big impact for you? Oh totally, it's one of the reasons I allegedly hunted Iris down to work <laughs> for her is because I love the beauty industry and as a male I feel males are actually underrepresented in the beauty industry and I really feel like with my role I can make a huge difference in that. If there's a place to share it's through social media and through our campaigns, that's what our brand's strongest point is, is that we're here to break barriers and smash those gender stereotypes just to empower people to be the best version of themselves that they can be. I feel like you don't feel intimidated because it's so unique. It's hard in cosmetics to really stand out because so many things have been done before and when you have something that's innovative, people are so quick to copy it. Yeah. And a lot of people say to me, oh, you know, what's going to happen when yep. someone rips you off? And I think it's really important to realise Yes, we're selling a product, but we're selling like so much more. Like it's the experience about how we talk to our customers. It's the community that we've sort of built as well. Yep. Um, and I think a lot of brands are lacking that. So it's not just, we're not just selling an eyeliner stamp. It's mm -hmm. the whole experience. It's everything behind it. So everyone's wondering, how did Shark Tank go? Can you tell us a little bit more about that in, in your words? Yeah. Stay tuned to industry leaders for more on the secret to 23-year-old interior architecture graduate Iris Smith's The Quick Flick Business Empire, based on a clever beauty product that's one of the hottest makeup trends of all time. So everyone's wondering, how did Shark Tank go? Can you tell us a little bit more about that in, in your words? Yeah, so Shark Tank was a crazy experience, another blur. Um, and I feel like I just started like at the very top with like nerves, like it's <laughs> like the biggest thing I've ever done. And I feel like now everything since then is just like, ah, oh, this is so easy. I've you got, got this. this. You know, like <laughs> when you pitch your business to, you know, Australia's biggest entrepreneurs, it's like, a pretty big deal. Yeah. Kind of afterwards I was like, whoa, I just did that, you know? Um, but yeah, a lot of people don't realise that we actually didn't go through with the Shark Tank deal. Um, it just sort of didn't, you know, feel right and I sort of had like um, a different vision for the business so um, you know we decided it was best to go our separate ways yep. so it's really exciting I think a lot of people think we did go through and they've sort of said oh you've done so well because of your investment yeah. so it's really great for us to sort of be able to own all of that and say like we've done everything on our own up until now so it's really exciting <music> people here today, bloggers, influencers, media, everyone who's a somebody is here pretty much. It has been the biggest day ever. We had to get up at 5 a.m. Sydney time, which is 3 a.m. our normal time. I actually had to have the hotel like knock on my door and be like, it's time to get out of bed. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm so happy with the outcome. I couldn't have expected or asked for anything to be different. I've met so many different people from like media outlets or influencers and bloggers. It's just a lot of great contacts to have met and it's also nice to put a lot of faces to names that I've been speaking to online. My favourite part of today has been meeting our customers. So many people already know us which is really exciting and being able to demonstrate it on them as well and just seeing their response of oh my god it actually works and being able to have flawless wings it's, it's amazing. Yeah. 
yeah, I remember when I first started, like I was sort of reading about how other brands had moved into retail. And I remember reading this article about this woman who was saying how she had gotten her brand into Price Sun after like three years. And I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. Like that is like, I was like goals, you know? Yeah. And then I was like, whoa, it's been 12 months. Like we literally did that in a year. You've so, smashed that. Yeah, it's been really crazy. And the fact that, you know, Price Sun was actually like knocking on our door and wanting us, um, it just shows that how much people are really loving the product. Oh, Iris is killing it. She is totally fine. She's in her element, meeting people, answering questions, doing some demos. This is exactly what we wanted to do at this event, is be really hands-on. Iris Smith from the Quick Flick. So I always make this joke like I literally just winged it because I don't know how it all came about, it just sort of happened. Did you ever think that you'd be stocked in a retailer like Priceline? No, like, <laughs> oh, like I, it's just a whirlwind. Um, and yeah, it's just crazy that people are going to be able to go in, try it for themselves, see it actually works, it's not like a gimmick. My proudest moment has probably been going into Priceline and it was quite like celebratory because we actually signed like the official going in, I suppose, on our 12 months. So it was on the Friday of our birthday party. That is amazing. Yeah, and that was the like official day when they're like, yes, we're going through, here's the order, yep. start getting your stand made. And I was kind of like, oh my God, this is actually happening. That is just unheard of and yeah. such an amazing, amazing story. So Yeah, it was a huge achievement, especially going into Shark Tank. That was one of the main things I wanted was to go into retail and it sort of just happened naturally and happened itself. Which and was... you did it on your own, like yeah. without any help. That is incredible. Yeah, so oh, something to be proud of. <laughs> So your brand um, is, is not tested on animals, like that is pretty huge. Can you mm. let us know a little bit more about how that happened and has that been a really big success? Still to come on Industry Leaders, more on the woman who turned a $10,000 investment into a globally marketed, waterproof, vegan friendly and cruelty free winged eyeliner stamp with nearly half a million dollars in sales. Your brand is not tested on animals, like that is pretty huge. Yeah, so we're not tested on animals and we're also vegan. Yep. And I think a lot of people, they see, you know, um, cruelty free, mm -hmm. but cruelty free doesn't necessarily mean that there's no like animal products or animal oh, byproducts. Okay. And I think it's like a little bit of a sneaky way for, yeah. cus for customers to get confused by brands. So when I was sort of, you know, working on the formula for the product, I thought I want something that's vegan, I want something that's cruelty free, I want something that's long wearing, that's waterproof. I could wear it for like any occasion, so I could wear it if I'm going to the gym, if I'm going swimming. Mm -hmm. You know, people live such diverse lives so that I wanted to cater for pretty much everyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the vegan and cruelty free part was really important to me because it just doesn't make sense, you know, it's the 21st century. Yeah. Why are we still needing to use animal products? Why are we still testing on animals? When you first started, like, was this so new, like all these different formulas and things? Did you have to do lots of research? Yeah, the the formula was a little bit tricky yeah. um, to sort of get that really like intense black colour. Mm -hmm. And the colours have been a little bit tricky to sort of making sure people don't buy the black and then they buy the colour and they're like, hold up, this is like a completely different formula. Yeah, and I think having that design background, especially like with all the packaging and the mm -hmm. website, you know, that was literally all me, which is kind of what I also like about the brand. It's like a direct extension of myself. How have your friends and family reacted to um, the growth of your business? Oh yeah, they've been really supportive and 
Oh, I don't really see them that much because I'm always working, but when I do see them, they're always, you know, like, wow, like, this is happening, like, you've done so great. So, yeah, it's really great to, like, see that they're proud of everything and they've been there from the start. So. Yeah. My name is Sabine and I'm Iris's mum. Iris was always wanting to be involved in creating her own business right from at the age of 13. She actually set up her own web page to sell vintage clothing. She used to raid my cupboards for, with old clothes or handbags or shoes and trying to sell them on, um, on her website. And, um, making a bit of pocket money on the side. So that's how it really all started with uh, selling things on the internet. She designed everything from, from scratch. Um, she showed me the packaging she had designed and, um, and we, we talked about different colours and font styles. And so she, she had everything already ready. Um, I'm very proud of her and um, it's, it's just amazing what she's done in such a short time. There's been a lot of people who've sort of helped me out along the way and given me, you know, advice and second opinions. So my partner Dino, he was quite crucial at the start because he does have his own um, business. So he was really great, you know, like some of the tricky things you don't know if you haven't done a business degree, like, you know, setting up a company and how to apply for GST and blah, 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 all the boring stuff, which no one really cares about. <laughs> and that's about. handy for someone to, to help you out with. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it definitely made that easier. So uh, my name is Dino and I'm Iris's partner. Uh, so when I met her she was uh, working at a retail clothing store and she was studying at university interior architecture. You know she used to do her makeup it would take um, you know 20 minutes to do that flick and now a few minutes it's done so it saves um, me time and I get to get in the bathroom and get ready quicker. Iris's work-life balance um, Work is life at the moment, so I mean, to accomplish what she has in this last year, work has to be life. At this point in time, it's quite full on, uh, but weekends we still have to ourselves and we enjoy ourselves and we go out. Um, but yeah, the Monday to Friday is, yeah, quite full on, just pretty much work at this point in time. But it's the same for me and I guess because we're in the same boat, both, you know, in our own businesses, uh, I guess um, I can relate, so I understand. My name is Manny and I'm uh, Dino's father, uh, you know, the quick flick uh, as we see it now on the shelves and uh, for something that she started off working from home, her bedroom, uh, making boxes and stuff like that to what she is today, she's just a go-getter, you know. She hasn't stopped 24-7, sometimes 12, 1 o'clock in the morning and we were ha trying to help her, you know, making boxes. Uh, it was funny enough that uh, I had my parents here from overseas and they both 81 years old and they got stuck in doing little boxes for her so that she could excel in her business, which she has. I first heard of Iris's idea um, when I was house sharing with her. Uh, one afternoon she was brainstorming ideas and mentioning that Iris was thinking of developing some sort of makeup product um, and then it wasn't until I was at university one day and we were all together just standing around before class, one of our last classes and Iris pulled out uh, the first version of the quick flick and showed all the uni friends and we were all really amazed that she had created uh, this whilst at uni. And um, can you take us through some of the challenges you think that you faced throughout the very short one year journey so mm. far. Ahead on Industry Leaders, the Quick Flick success story that began when its founder, Perth University graduate Iris Smith, known to her friends as the Cat Lady because of her winged eyeliner look, found her own design solution. some of the challenges you think that you've faced throughout the very short one year journey so mm. far? I think the biggest challenge for me has been dealing with people copying you okay. and a lot of the times people say 
copying is the finest form of flattery. Mm -hmm. um, and it was something I really struggled with at, at the start because obviously anyone who sort of claims your work as theirs and you know just follows in your footsteps and copies, it, yeah. it's hard, you know, it's heartbreaking and it's really hard to not lose focus of the greater goal because you spend all your time worrying about, oh my God, what are they doing? They're copying me. I feel so sorry for myself. And you sort of have to realize that where it's really gonna affect your business is when you're focusing more on what is your competition doing yeah. rather than focusing on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's been actually a really great learning curve. And in some ways, I'm actually thankful that someone's copied me because I've learned so much about myself, how to deal with that and where I really wanna take the company. And also realizing, like I said, we're not just selling a product. So you know what? Sure, go copy my product but you're never gonna be the same as us. You're never gonna have the same voice, the same vision, the same customers, the same story. You know, mm -hmm. you can't copy that, you can't fake that. What are the future plans for the Quick Flick? There's lots of plans in the mix. I am really don't want to be like a one hit wonder product. I don't yep. just want to have winged eyeliner stamps. It's kind of about working towards this greater goal of having a brand which I envision as being quick beauty mm -hmm. and having this concept of lots of makeup products that are really easy, you know, makeup solutions to help you know, solve tricky looks or you know, whatever it is that you struggle with. Um, and also just really time savings. We're all about time and people yeah. are always in a rush and you know people are mums and they have busy days and they have only 10 minutes to get ready in the morning or they're getting ready on the train or whatever it is. So just thinking about every part of the look, so winged eyeliner or the lips or the eyebrows and how can we make a product that is compact, that is easy to use, anyone can use it, there's no age or gender barrier. My name is Fernanda and I am Aris' partner's mother, Dino's mother when she said she was going to create something, it was because they were living with us at the moment. Her and Dina were living in our house at that time and um, every time we went out, it would take like 15, 20 minutes for her to do it manually with, you know, just with an eyeliner pencil and we would be downstairs waiting to go out and we'd say, come on Iris, it's getting late, it's getting late. And she would say, oh my goodness, I'll tell you, I'm going to create something that is going to make my life and every woman's life so easy. She's 23 years old, a young girl that's done so much for herself, really. She is amazing. She's, oh, I don't know of any 23 year old that would have a business like she's got. And so proud of that girl. Not only are you creating a product, but you're creating confidence. Oh, 100%. And I think Iris and I, one of the reasons we work so well together is because we're both very confident women. <laughs> <laughs> and, stylish, of course. Oh, stylish, confident women, sisters, brother, sister, whatever you want to say. <laughs> and, you know, we want to put that into our customers because not everyone is as confident as they should be. And if we can help people of all ages or sexes or whether they're gay, straight, whatever, and that's essentially what everything's all about. We're here to empower people, not degrade them. I personally think that the beauty industry isn't changing enough. Mm -hmm. And I kind of think that is where the quick flick has kind of thrown like a spanner in the works and has given someone, given like our customers that sort of fresh new perspective that they're sort of looking for. There are some brands that are changing, but it's just too slow personally. Like CoverGirl had like their first cover boy and a lot of brands are starting to use you know, drag queens and men in their, you know, commercials and advertising and all yeah. of that. But I just think it's not enough and I think they kind of really need to step it up and realise people are really wanting something different and not the same thing that they've seen for like 20, 30 years. It's just really boring and they just can't connect with it if they don't see themselves in, you know, that the ads or the, you know, the packaging or whatever it is. So where I think I've been quite successful is just really staying true to myself, being confident, knowing what I want to achieve and just like going in head first and like, let's get this done. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important. And you can apply that to any business or any product essentially. Um, it's all about how you deliver the message essentially and how you come across to people and how yep. you come across to your customers, which is what I think makes you know a successful business or a successful product. So that is my 
biggest piece of advice. It's amazing. It's very, yeah. very inspiring. Iris, thank you so much for joining me. It has been an amazing journey so far. I wish you every success. Thanks. I can't wait to see your product on the shelves everywhere. And and Priceline. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And see the complete range so I can be out the door in yes. five minutes. <laughs> and um, good luck. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, that was Iris from The Quick Flick. It is such an amazing story and to hear about her journey. So many people, you know, look up to her and want to create a brand that is as successful. It's very refreshing to see from such a young, young woman. Thank you for watching Industry Leaders and we'll see you next time.